No, no homo. I'll pause for y'all. Foo foo boys. Bye. What up, y'all? Castle Scope back on another video. Today I'm gonna get into my wave routine, what I use for waves, the do rag I use, what times I brush, how much times a week I wash my hair, everything to just get you guys started on your wave progress. Cause I'm started on mine too. I only started about three months ago. Uh, yep, let's get right into it. So the essentials that you're gonna need for starting a wave progress is number one, pomade. I use Murray's. I don't know what you guys want to use. Like there's 360 style, 360. Some shit, 360, yeah, 360, everything, nigga. But Murray's, Murray's is really good. This gives you a really good hold. You can see this, this is some thick stuff. I'm not going to put it in my hair right now because I already put it in my hair this morning. And you never want to over product. And then what I also use, since I only use Murray's every two days, I use coconut curling cream. This is a really good curling cream for your hair. If you have straight hair waves, medium waves, coarse hair waves, it doesn't matter. This will curl your hair up really good. And then you're also going to need a comb. This is for when you start wolfing. Wolfing is uh, defined as when it's two weeks past your haircut. Uh, so usually my wolf is at a length of two inches. Or yeah, two inches, the two guard. Um, but if you have straight hair or medium hair, then your wolf starts longer. Because my hair, since it's so coarse, I got that fucking Nigerian hair. And Nigerian African tribe hair, so. My hair curls pretty much as soon as I cut it. I, I could be at a one and it'll still curl. Like, my hair is so curly, but yeah. So you're gonna wanna need these, and obviously, you're gonna wanna get brushes. So, people will just tell you, oh man, I can't get waves. Oh, these need all these excuses. Like, I didn't start seeing progress till about two months, so you just gotta put in work. If you have coarse hair like me, you gotta really put in work. Because my hair. It's, it's so coarse that it will just not move sometimes. That's why you, I just got to put in a lot of work. And you got to trust the process. I'm three months in, and I thought three months I'll have 360s. But, and I brush my hair about two hours a day. But, you know, I got them in the front. Not bad. I just, I'll just i show you guys in another video, like, close up on my hair. But I got them in the front, but I'm still working on everything. The back still got to come in. And that's why right now I'm in a wolfing stage, so I'm going to grow my hair out for about two more months before I even get it cut. But, um, yeah, um, I'll show you guys how much Murray you should use. I'm not going to put it in my hair, like I said, though. Like, for pomade, depending on how tough it is, like, you really don't need a lot. Like, this will be enough for lasting you two days. Because Murray is really pat your hair down. And that's what you really want to do when you're getting waves, because waves are laid down curls. So you want to put the pomade in your hair, but you, when you put it in your finger, you want to rub it, rub it on, then put it in your hair. And then on your other day, I use Murray's one day. Then I, I use coconut. I use this Carolyn Hansen smoothie, or it's not Carolyn Hansen smoothie, but it's just like that. This is a different branch can too. Uh, the Carolyn Hansen smoothie is shea moisture, but Carolyn Hansen smoothie you definitely want more. Uh, I'm actually not going to put that on my hands because you need a lot. I put it like on my hands so it covers like all over my hand. Then I, you want to pat your hair. You want to pat your hair down like this. You don't want to rub it all in one spot where it'll all get spotty and you just don't want that. But you want to pat your hair all in angles, angles, angles. Always remember angles because if you mess up your wave angles, then your waves are going to be coming out looking crazy. Because if you brush this way. And then this way on the side, this way on the back, like, no. What I do is 540 waves, but I'm going to show you guys what most people do is 360 waves. And this is the pattern that you want to go. In the front, you want to brush straight down, like this, straight down. On your, on your right side, brush with your right hand, obviously. And then on your left side, brush with your left hand, you know. And then on the sides... You're going to want to brush, like, almost completely down, but it's sort of at an angle. So you're going to go down, like, here, like there, and on the right side, like that. And then in the back, you want to just go straight back. You can use either hand in the back. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, just make sure you pick your angles. 
Personally, I like 540 waves because um, I like the process and also a lot of people don't have them, so I want to be different, you know. We on a new wave over here. Scope man, you already know. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the brushing. You just got to put in work. What I do is I wake up, put pomade in my hair if it's a pomade day, then I comb my hair if I'm woofing. If you're woofing, you really got to comb your hair. I comb my hair, then I get a hard brush. This is a soft brush. This is like a Walmart brush or whatever, but I'm just using it for the video. But you got to really just get that brush work in in the morning. And I don't even wear a do-rag that much during the day, but if you want, after you get that brush session, then wear a do-rag because that's, it's like saving your progress on a, on a video game pretty much. That's how I would say. Because you're laying your hair down with the brush and you're making sure you save that progress with the do-rag. The final thing that you're going to want, other than shampoo, but you got to wash your hair like twice a week, I'd say, you're going to want a do-rag. Right here, this is a silky do-rag. Like, they don't sell these in, in, like, a lot of stores, I don't think. Like, my first do-rag was from Walmart. It wasn't silky at all, but this is just a trend, I think, because any do-rag will do the job. It's just to lay your hair down, but, yeah, I like I like this do-rag. It's silky. It looks good. And I'm going to show you guys how to put it on. Let's, let's hope I don't fuck up. I mean... Alright, so put it on, line up the middle, the line in the middle. You should always put on your do-rag inside out so that you don't get that forehead line like coming down right here and get lines and you're done. That shit is whack, but line it up and take that back first, first string in the back, bring it across, make sure the lines are flat. Put it, I, I put it in my mouth, no homo. I'll pause for y'all, foo foo boys. But I put this in my mouth to hold it. And I pull this down. Take the other strap. Alright, take the other strap. Take it across. Pull everything down. Line it up. Hold up. Line it up, there you go. Then you're gonna tie it. Tie it once, one knot, then go tie again. Two knot, there you go. So that's on. If you're wolfing at night, you probably want to double compress so you get a do-rag and wave caps. If if you're going to the store or if you're just trying to pick up some tips. And then in the back I take this part and I either put it over my head like that. Or I just roll it up, roll this up, and then there's like that part in the back where you tied the first knot. So I tuck it in there, and then then you're chilling, bro. Then you're chilling. All right, that's how you put it on a do rag. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We got more content on the way. You already know that. I'm gonna keep you updated with my waves. We're gonna keep this sports talk going. Comment what you want to hear me talk about in sports. I'm usually a basketball guy, but I can reach out. But golf is off limits, nigga. Tennis is off limits. Soccer, I don't know. I'll talk about football, though. Basketball and football, that's pretty much what I'm going to talk about, I think. But let me know if you really want me to talk about a different sport, what you want me to post on here. Um, we got a vlog coming soon. I'm going to go to the park, show you guys some basketball, get some work in with my boy, and um, I'll check you out. Trapping out the back street, running through the past like a trap.